is Abhijit and you're watching AB Study Circle. If you haven't subscribed my channel till yet, please press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. Let's dive in. In this video, we will be discussing about available energy. In short, it is written as AE. Okay. For a cycle, maximum work obtained obtained for a given heat input is AE, that is the available energy. See, in a cycle, the maximum work will be obtained when the cycle is operating reversibly. So, let us have a reversible engine which will be producing some work and we will, which is reversible and we will see how maximum work can be obtained. Let us have a heat engine operating between the thermal reservoirs T1 and T2. Operate, uh, right, the heat engine, it is a reversible heat engine, okay. It is receiving Q1 amount of heat, produces some work W and rejects Q2 amount of heat to the sink. Now, this W is your available energy, which is the available part of this your heat supplied and this Q2 is the maximum, uh, minimum heat rejected to the sink. It is your unavailable energy, that is unavailable energy, right. It is the unavailable part of your heat supplied Q1, okay. Now, let us have the efficiency of this engine, that is W by Q1 or as it is a reversible, it can be written as 1 minus T2 by T1. Okay. So, for having maximum work output, the efficiency should be maximum. And for the maximum efficiency, for a given source temperature T1, T2 that is the sink temperature should be at the lowest possible temperature and the lowest possible temperature for maximum efficiency is when the heat rejected that is Q2 is directly transferred to the surrounding because the surrounding is at temperature T0 which is lower than T2. So, let us replace the sink with surrounding that is T0. Now, this reversible heat engine is operating between T1 that is the source temperature and T0 that is the surrounding temperature. Therefore, the efficiency will be maximum and subsequently your work output will be maximum for the given input. So, we have replaced T2 by T0. So, we have wrote that and we got the relationship between maximum work output and your heat input. Right. Okay. So, we have got this and now let us further move and let us see the T s diagram of this reversible cycle or engine, right. So, let us clear this thing up and let us draw a T s plot for this heat engine that is operating in a reversible cycle, which is 
operating between T1 that is the source temperature and T0 that is the surrounding temperature and produces a W max work output with a heat supply of Q1 with the temperature T1 and heat rejection Q2 to the surrounding T0. Okay. So, previously as we have discussed the relationship of W max and heat input that is W max is equal to Q1 1 minus T0 by T1. Let us open the brackets Q1 is uh, minus T0 Q1 by T1. See as this is a reversible cycle that means the entropy is nothing but heat supplied by temperature. Right. So, we can write it as Q1 minus T0 del S. Now, see your W max plus T0 del S is your Q1. See here your W max is your AE and T0 is your U e that is the unavailable energy. This is Q 1 that is the this W max is your available part of your heat supplied and T 0 del S that is nothing but your Q 2 is your unavailable part of your heat supplied. Again many of the books will write unavailable energy as energy and available energy is written as exergy. So, do not be confused what is exergy and energy because the exergy is nothing but your available energy that is the available part of your heat supplied and energy is the unavailable energy of your heat supply.